Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered! Today it's going to be a match between Scan and Shuttle here on Circuit Breakers. Holy smokes, this is going to be an excellent game. I can feel it in my bones. Bottom left hand corner, it is the yellow Protoss player, Eyewater, which is just a smurf name for Shuttle, and it means crying, apparently in Korean. Uh, yes, Eyewater. I Bet you could figure that out. Top left-hand corner, we have the White Terran player, Scan. Ooh, we like Scan a lot, too. He is, man, one of the kind of newcomers to the game a little bit here. But anyway, got this replay off of Team Liquid. I guess by newcomer to the scene, I mean he hasn't been around as long as Shuttle has. Shuttle's been around for like 15 years, and Scan's been around for like five. Which, not really a newcomer if you have five years at something. Yeah? I... That's probably accurate. Sorry, colorblind people. It's yellow and yellow or yellow and white here today. Most of the replays I get from Team Liquid, I think, are just practice matches for the most part. And so players just choose whatever color they want when they head on into the lobby there. Uh, I guess, you know, back in the day, ladder matches... Were colors random back on the ladder back then? I don't remember. It's been too long. Like, back in the day. Like, 2006, 2007, 2008... Or was that red versus blue? Had they established that standard yet? That's so long ago. He's so long ago. I don't know. Anyway, nothing crazy happening for anybody at this point. Gateway, barracks, no proxies, no quick scouts, nothing along those lines at all. And as usual, PVT openings. Are we going to be aggressive with uh, ranged dragoons? Or are we going to try to macro this thing? We're going to do both. But either way, the recipe, as I've said... And every PVT, I think, for the last year is, what you want to do is out-expand the Terran player. You need to Zerg him. If you're not going to kill him fast, which you can do, you can do that with a nice Dragoon attack. That's really well executed, and maybe the Terran's not quite ready for it. You can kill them fast. But, if you can't, or if you're not planning on it, expanding, you know, getting your third up as the Terran's natural is coming up. Getting a fourth up immediately after that. Getting a fifth up. The way we've seen players like Flash get beat in PvT is that very particular method. It's incredible. You just have to out-Zerg your Terran opponent. I know it sounds easy, but it is not easy to do. The other thing you have to be doing is not just expanding. You need to be jumping on that tank count and reducing it over and over again. Which I know is not exactly really specific solid advice. But seriously, if you have like 12 Dragoons or 10 Dragoons or 5 Dragoons, depending on the stage of the game, if you can jump in there and kill a couple tanks and lose all your Dragoons, do it. If there are so many tanks and you don't have enough Dragoons to kill any tanks without losing or and you lose all your Dragoons, don't do that. You have to make trades here. They can be what feel like bad trades, but you have got to keep that tank count from getting to 30 or so. 30 tanks showing up at your front door, you can't do anything against that. You can try to stasis that thing all you want. You can go carriers, that'll shut it down. But I'm just saying, as far as ground forces are concerned, you cannot handle that many siege tanks. Honestly, as Zerg or as Protoss, it's just not gonna happen. All right, so with all of that talk, it looks like we did go for Cybercore before Expand. It looks like we did go for Factory before Expand here too. So both players, you know, just making sure they don't die to anything crazy because they were too greedy in the first three minutes. I can definitely appreciate and support that. Speaking of support, thanks everybody for hitting that like button, hitting the subscribe. I got Brood War content here five times a week, y'all. Five times. It is here, including Sunday streams. Man, you guys, you're spoiled. Anywho. Yeah, so we're going to have some Dragoons show up, but there will be... what? There we go. A Siege Tank. A Siege Tank to deal with it. Robotics facility here, too. Yeah, this is just standard PVT stuff. Whether going for detection real fast to deal with spider mines, or maybe going for a shuttle maybe bypass the siege tank that's at the ramp and go up here inside the main and get some stuff done there. Either way, the Dragoons show up. There's nothing to kill because we didn't go for a fast command center, so there's no bunker. And going up the ramp seems like death. I mean, you just know. Not with it. Look, if there's a tank on the top of this ramp, I appreciate what you're doing here, shuttle, but that's not happening. It is not, not occurring. Not today. Not on Scan's watch, that's for sure. 
Neither of these players are playing at 600 APM, but that's okay. Obviously, they are just among the elite, the elite in the StarCraft Brood War scene. Gateway, gateway. Uh, I don't know about this. I'd love to see a third. I would love to see a third base. Observatory coming in. You don't have to worry about spider mines for a bit. As still not working on that research at all. Honestly, the machine shop not being used for any kind of research whatsoever. Just kind of vanilla marines and vanilla tanks here. I lied. Spider mines are done. Wow. That went through way faster than I thought it would. All right. Spider mines are done. Observer going to be fantastic. Who am I to question you? <laughs> Shuttle. Uh, in this way. You do the things that are right. I'd still love to see a third. I would. Here on Circuit Breaker. Did I say this is Circuit Breakers at the start of the game? I can't remember if I did or not. This has been... It's been a long day. Let me just tell you about my day. I woke up at 6 o'clock to take my kids to school. So 6 a.m. Uh, I'm doing a vaccine study for Novavax, which is a uh, COVID vaccine that they're working on. So I went to that after I dropped my kids off at school. Uh, got a second shot for the for the vaccine. This is my second one. Uh, got some blood drawn as well. Then I went and came back home, worked for eight and a half, nine hours. It was a bit of a later day because there was a lot going on. And Anyway, that's a long story nobody cares about. And then I made dinner for the kids. We spent some time together that way. I streamed on Twitch for two hours over at twitch.tv slash Falcon Paladin. I cast a 30-minute TVT for StarCraft II for the channel, and now I'm here casting what will likely be a very, very long uh, PVT for Brood War. It's been a long day, so if I make some mistakes in this cast, you will understand why. That is that is my life in a nutshell. Ooh, busy, busy, busy beaver. Citadel of Adun, again, third base, great. Honestly, fourth base, get that 400 minerals, take this. This is why there's a spider mine here. He wants to know if it gets taken or not. He's kind of, sort of, posturing like maybe he wants to. Oh, but look at this third base from Scan. Scan's like, okay, we're going to play some mind games here. You're going to try to expand. I'm going to expand faster than you expect me to, maybe. Although this third base timing isn't too crazy. It's usually the three bases they get, then they power up. Then they take a fourth. This is pretty sparse on the defense right now, if we're going to be entirely honest with ourselves. But do it. Do it. Expand. Observer says, mm -hmm, yes, factories, obviously. Charon booster coming in for the Arbiters, which don't exist yet, but that's a Temple of Archives. That's a Stargate. We have the pieces. We're working on it. We're trying to get to that Arbiter tech. Whoa! Scan took the fourth way faster than I expected him to. Okay, I like what Scan is doing. We don't see this a lot. But by golly, I think it's going to work. Yeah, no, I do. I honestly think this is going to work. Oh, man, he's going to get away with a fast fourth base before the Proton takes his fourth. Oh, there's tanks spread out, siege mode, spider mines laid down everywhere. You have to worry about here, too. My goodness. Now, here's the thing. Shuttle got his name because he loves shuttles. I don't know that he has any yet, particularly, but he's really good at Reaver Drops against both Zerg and Terran and Protoss. His Reaver Drop skills are legendary. Storm Drop skills very good here, too. So even if the Terran jumps out to a really nice economic advantage compared to what he's rolling with, he can do some damage economically to the other side to bring it back into, you know, into his favor. So we'll see if he pulls that off here or not. Arbiter Tribunal coming in. And he, yeah, Observer sees this and he's like, oh. Quick fourth base. The thing about this map is it's kind of Terran favored. You have these low ground bases on the left and the right side that are really bad for Protoss and Zerg when they're playing against Terran. Because tanks on the high ground killed those bases pretty darn easily. So we'll keep an eye on the expansion patterns. I don't expect Protoss Shuttle to try to take this one, honestly. Expanding toward the Terran too is just rough stuff. At the very least, he's going to take the bottom right spawn and the natural for it. And then maybe we'll think about going for the side expands, but... This is, uh, yeah, see, now we're popping up additional factories. So Scan goes for a four base opener before he really starts powering up. And there's your shuttle. Told ya. Shuttle's uh, actually observer speed on the way. 
I think that's too confused. Gravitic booster and gravitic something else is for the for the shuttles. Speed on the way from the zealots. This has been a pretty darn passive match to this point. First ten minutes, not a lot has happened. Not a lot has died. And this is where I get worried for the Protoss. Is if not a lot has died, then the tank count is increasing steadily, right? You don't want that. You don't want the tank count to increase as steadily as it is. Oh, also today, what I tried to do with the kids was watch episode 5 of WandaVision. Um, I kind of skipped one, two, 1 and 2 because I felt like it was just... Look how cool we are. We can do sitcom style, you know, old-timey sitcom style stuff in 2021 with a tiny bit of mystery as to what's going on. I was not interested in that. But episode three, you know, okay. Episode four, good. Episode four is good. And five is apparently knocking people's socks off. But Disney Plus was down. I kept trying to reload it and reload it, but even on my Roku, it wasn't working. And on just the website getting brought up on my PC, it wasn't working either. It would load the website, but none of the content would come in. Which is a really weird way for it to be broken, but I hope, I don't know, maybe after this I'll get together with the kids and we can watch that. We'll see. Alright, so fifth base here from Shuttle coming up before the fifth base of Scan. Alright, so this is what we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, bloodshed. The first bloodshed, possibly, of the game. First Vulture down. I think an SCV got killed earlier, so really not the first bloodshed, but... Yeah, clearing out the minefield. That's right, you're trying to slow us down, friend. But we've got cannons defending our bases, so good luck getting in there. Ow, ow, ow. They're going to focus down a couple of these probes. They do, but also they die. So they're YOLO vultures, which is not, you know, not great for the vulture pilot. But the commander doesn't necessarily care about that stuff. Dragoons here at plus one attack. We've got tanks and vultures also at plus one attack. So the upgrades are keeping even across the board, at least thus far. EMP on the way, storm on the way, and recall on the way. We are getting all the spells researched at this stage of the game at 12 minutes. Okay. So it's 76 SCVs for scan. Holy smokes. The macro on this guy, this mad lad. He is absolutely on fire, dude. That science vessel dying would suck. Let's not do that. Okay, careful careful stepping in too close, guys. Look at this bait. Like, hey, the science vessel's here. Come try to kill it. <laughs> oh, that vulture survives all of something 31 HP see right side base all right so shuttle doing the stuff Shuttle doing the stuff exceptionally well bottom right hand corner You know, Dragoon Skirmishes. It's nothing too serious right now at this stage of the game. Hallucination getting researched from Shuttle. That's some interesting stuff. Look at that observer speed. Zoom! Zoomy zoom zoom! So, shuttle's maxed out on 64 workers. Scan working and getting maxed out. 180 supply right now. But again, in a direct engagement, it's really hard to kill this. Two one upgrades on the mech. Still that plus one armor, or attack rather, for shuttle. Vultures, it's basically been a Vulture Dragoon skirmish style game here today. And sure, you're killing probes, but man, are you just throwing away vultures here too? Not particularly amazing. Shuttle's uh, Dragoon control is pretty awesome. Is this guy patrolling? Oh, he is patrolling. Okay. Why is he coming back the exact same angle? Do 
The man, Yolo Vultures again. How many probes are we gonna kill? 60. Oh, he actually has enough to take down the cannons. That is a little bit of. That's a lot. It is. Okay, so down to 49 probes. It's 11 probes down, if not more. Yeah, 47. Some brutal stuff here, but once you have enough vultures, yeah, you don't even fear the cannons anymore. Don't fear the Look at this micro. Look at that vulture micro, too. Sick plays. Okay, this is not going to work out, though. Not at all. And just trying to make sure that Scan doesn't feel comfortable moving out. That's what this is all about from Shuttle. I don't know that he's killed any tanks today is the problem. And the tank count is substantial. Pretty good. Seven? Okay, hang on a second. Seven Goliaths at a time. Does he think there's a carrier transition that I do not know about? Because there's not a carrier transition yet. If ever there will be one, I don't know. Again, in the hands of a skilled Protoss, carriers against Terran look super overpowered. In the hands of a not skilled Protoss, they do not look overpowered at all. Yeah, man, this is just... This is... YOLOing vultures into mineral lines and killing probes. It's 60 probes to 76 SCVs. I think, I feel like Scan made 76 and is just totally fine with it. Are we making Goliaths an answer to the Dragoons? Seems like a weird choice. Anyway, plus two's done for the gateway units. They are working on plus one armor and plus three attack. On the other side, oh, plus three attack is almost done for the mech. That is intimidating right now, but look. This is the whole southern section of the map belonging to the Protoss, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven total bases for the Protoss. And four total bases for the Terran. This is the kind of situation I was talking about. Although the tank count I don't think was reduced enough. Or possibly at all. Yeah, so when the tanks siege up, that's when it's your it's your cue to back out. It just is. It's fine. I wish this scroll around was better. Clicking the mouse button in the middle. And dragging, it is not. It is super choppy. But this is fairly smooth, right? It's not bad. Hey, so he's moving down. This might just be a game where the Protoss loses their main and natural and just sets up on the other side of the map. Sometimes it's just a foregone conclusion. Not much you can do about it. You just let it happen. You prepare for it in advance. It's like a hurricane coming for your house. You're just like, well, we'll get all the valuables out of it and bring the kids and the dog and head somewhere else. Hurricane's going to knock down, down our house. Not much we can do about it. Kind of what this is. It's just a force of nature. Okay, I like this. Coming around almost like a Zerg would do to pick off reinforcing units. That are trying to join the front. Nice stasis. Okay. Arbiter count a little bit nuts. Oh, recalling right on top of these tanks, too. Sick move. Really, really nice recall. In fact, an excellent recall. Okay, good, good stuff. Holding, holding, not giving it up here. Scan's taking this left side base because the Protoss is not going to take it. I will tell you that much. Yeah, Zealots. And those numbers against this many tanks with, again, plus three, not going to do super well. Just unseach tanks sometimes are incredible. Uh, oh, we recalled over here too. Damn. So we recalled over here. Took down this fifth base attempt of scans. Loving that. I'm not sure what this Arbiter is up to. Is it energy for a stasis? Oh. Was it a hallucination? <gasps> That was a hallucination. And another recall on top of everything at the front door here. Shuttle is not, not, I repeat, giving up her, his main base without a fight. Ho, ho, ho. That was a great recall. So the recalls, I'm telling you, recalls, shuttle drops, got all the tricks in the Protoss arsenal. Try to win this game. Uh, 
But uh, Scan not interested in going home. I don't know about this choice to engage here, though. That is, my gosh, these siege tanks. Zealots down, which means the Dragoons are down. Yeah, run, run on out, continuing to push. Defensive Matrix is up on that shuttle. Is that a misclick? Or is that scan being BM a little bit? What the heck? He's not stolen an SCV. We s wow. Yeah, man, we've seen Defensive Matrix on Arbiters like twice in the last week. Incredible stuff. All right. Well, hmm. Scan kind of retaking this left side base. He's maybe thinking about expanding to the top right here, too. He's got some vultures defending it. This pressure, though, uh, removing into inexorable movement from the Terran. I think it is. I don't know that Shuttle can stop this from happening anymore. Picking 23 Zealots at a time, though. However, wandering them down the ramp one or two at a time is not going to work out for you in the long run, so. Yeah, and the Mizell, it's good stasis, great stasis on the Science Vessel, especially fantastic play. It's just the sound of dead zealots, man. Cloaked zealots coming from both sides. Storm is up. You can't necessarily retreat. Because you're kind of getting squeezed a little bit. Dude, shuttle. This guy, though, I'm telling you. Okay, this game is absolutely insane. I am highly enjoying it. Hope you are, too. Hit that like button if you are. Because, dang, we're at 22 minutes. It's 177 to 143 supply. Terran players up. And again, a lesser Protoss just loses the natural and loses the main at this point. But shuttle being shuttle today. Not going to have that happen. The natural base is probably toast based on that tank sieging sound we just heard. Yeah, it's gone. All right. So still just producing four tanks, five vultures, a Goliath at a time. Slowly, slowly sieging forward. Not a moving, sieging, killing, unsieging, moving, resieging, killing. That's the rotational play. But yeah, Luko has all of his gateways over here. He recognizes, okay. Probably not saving it at this point. He's making 11 Dragoons at a time, which is like fastest map ever level stuff, man. That's what we're dealing with here today. Two Arbiters at a time in production, but we're going to lose these Stargates soon now. Yeah, I mean, it took Scan a lot of effort to do this. We've seen games where Protoss just kind of rolls over and dies when the Terran army shows up down here. Not Shuttle. He makes Scan work for it. He makes Scan lose stuff. He tries to make good trades against what Scan is working with. And again, you're going to win this through good trades. You're going to have more money than the Terran based on your expansion patterns. It's just a matter of can you make good enough trades that you have enough money left to make them, you know? It's not going to be super cost efficient, but is it cost efficient enough that you can win the game? So gateway units at 3-2 with armor, 3-3 for the mech. What else are you going to do for mech? 10 more zealots in production. The main base truly just being completely destroyed. He wants to get these arbiters out before... Is this is one pylon powering. No, this one too. Okay, so the arbiter are going to get out and there's nothing here to kill them, so they'll escape. That's nice. Dragoons do shut down Scan's attempt at taking a uh, sixth base over here at the right side. That's nice. That's a really, really nice find. And then he's going to go ahead and expand here to the bottom right, too. Or rather, the three o'clock. He already has the bottom right. Circuit Breakers is a good map for macro games, man. That was, that was the intention. That's what it was built for. That's what it's doing. So this is Shuttle saying, I cannot engage... With this army directly, it is just a big ball of scary stuff. On the other hand, we don't want to let the Terran kill our newest sources of income. So you know what? Sometimes you got to do it. Sometimes you got to just try. Just do your best. Try your best and you don't succeed. Well, try it again. Continuing to macro. Continuing to get those upgrades. Scan just being so patient with his Terran. Recognizing I don't have to unseed, you know, instantly. Oh, here we go. This recall stuff. 
this... Oh, EMPs. Okay, so one stasis lands, but... I think this one had more plans before it lost all of its energy entirely. Shuttle pushing in from the right side. Zealots leading the charge as always, but there are a bunch of vultures coming in. Kind of a little bit late to the party here. The Arbiter is just kind of silent. <laughs> silent guardians, observers. There are no uh, there are no Goliaths to kill them, so they're fine. And Shuttle pulls out. Like, all right, we whittled down the tank count quite a bit. Wanted to finish that one off and did. Excellent job. The Arbiters are just, you know, there's no anti-air here, so let's kill everything. A lot of zealots coming out of that bottom right, man. All right, place your bets. 25 minutes. Who's going to come out on top here? Say in the comments. At 25 minutes, I thought this player would win. Scans up. 195 to 152 supply. He just has a ton of stuff going for him. Dude, he's built on... <laughs> Shuttle's natural base and is taking those resources. Oh my gosh. There's 1,776 Vespine gas left there. Zealot. Ooh, that Zealot drop. Oh, the Spider Mine. The Spider Mine with the Zealot drop combination was really lethal. Super, super, muy, muy excelente. So yeah, 25 minutes, who do you think? Scan or shuttle, put it in the comments. Be brave, we will figure out who are the smartest viewers among the Falcon Paladin channel. Yeah, cause shuttle's back up to 188 supply. Oh, this base is getting taken Two Siege tanks, this, yeah, we're dead. Southern base is dead. It looks like if shuttle's gonna win this thing, he needs to take this top right, and I think he can do it. There's really nothing preventing him from doing this. It's just he can't let Scan's army wander across and kill this 3 o'clock. That would be disastrous if he loses that 3 o'clock. Yep. So next is down. He's trying to engage at preferential angles for him, but I don't know. I really don't know if it's enough here. Shuttle decides it's time, though. Get some stasis down. Got Arbiters overhead for the cloaking abilities. Tank's getting wiped out. Pretty good storm over there. Oh, a lot of vultures dying. There are, unfortunately, Goliaths, so the Arbiters are not as unopposed as they were previously. Is... Ah, there's still not enough. There is just still not enough to break this entirely. But he does kill a bunch and lose a bunch. But again, that's what I've been saying since the start of this match. You have to whittle the tank count down from time to time, even if you're going to lose a ton of things. Dragoons and Zealots, in particular, is what I'm talking about here. Yeah, this 6 o'clock is taking a while to die. Top right base is getting taken by shuttle, though. So he's working on that. 179 to 138 supply. Yeah, we've kind of been on a stretch of PBTs recently on the channel where the Protoss has not gone for carriers. They've just decided that's not what they want to do. Interestingly enough, I mean, it feels like PVT, it's about a 40-35% chance of carriers. But not so much. I think the last four PVTs I've cast on the channel have not involved carriers. Weird. Weird stuff. That's okay. 199 to 147 supply. So look, I mean, he's positioning like he, he's going to. Yes, is that an EMP? Yep. EMP landed on something. Yeah, these guys over here. Archon got EMP'd with his High Templar, so can't do it. The only saving grace here for Shuttle is he has that top right base, and I'm pretty sure Scan doesn't know what exists. Archon. Blah, blah. I'll take your spider mines. I don't trigger them. Are we going? Oh my gosh, we're going. Okay, Zealot's left side. Dragoon's right side. Great storm getting tossed down. All over the place here, too. This is Zealots are alive. That's the big deal. 
Or can your zealots remain alive through this or oh through this attack? If yes, you're in a good spot. If they're all dead, you gotta pull back. Okay. I think that went pretty well for shuttle. I do. Killed a ton of tanks, killed a ton of vultures as well. That science vessel's probably dead. Although nobody seems too interested in killing it. And more importantly, keeps this three o'clock base alive. There we go. Science Vessel goes down. Dragoon finally decides to finish it off. Put it out of its misery. Oh, a couple of free shots. Oh, never mind. On that Observer. One more. Aww. Oh, 4 HP. 4 HP almost dead. Dude, Scan's macro has just been insanely good. He EMPs the Nexus. So it is easier for tanks to kill. Oh, that's. And the cannons to be dead as well, in all fairness. Once again, Scan just knows how to spread out his army, so it's not easy to pick off any particular part of it. Yeah, you can take off this chunk right here, but then the guys up north are still firing on you, and the guys down south are still firing on you, and... Yeah, I haven't had zoomed out battles like this in a while, but I feel like this game totally merits it because of how spread out these battles have been. When you figure that they can really only see this level of zoom... Uh, it, it's incredible. It's incredible what they're able to do in this game, you guys. Brood War players are something different, something special. Oh, I think they got that spider mine before it could hit. All right, shuttle staving off the Terran. Stave it off. Oh, one, two, three, and now you can count to three. Hey, free tank. Probably killed that Nexus. He's probably going to Terran Heaven. As a result, to the 6 o'clock, though. Scan has this one. Alright, we're marching in on this thing. Turret's going down. Fair enough. Vulture's trying to save it, but additionally, the 3 o'clock's gonna die, and this one is dead, and... I don't know. Shuttle's at 130 supply. It's only 150 for Scan, though. It's not like he's on fire, supply-wise. A lot of probes have died today, though. It's a problem. 61 probes on the ground. Which is not bad for 33 minutes. I'm not going to complain about it too much. These zealots, though. Three kills on that guy. Three kills on that guy. They're dead now, but, you know, they had a great time. I'm actually clearing out the tanks to protect this third base, too. Okay. Man, this is... Scrap Fest. Scrap Fest 2021. That's what I'll name this video, that's all. Just Scrap Fest. Oh, good. My voice is giving out on me. Okay, we got this. We can finish this strong. Strong. Six o'clock happening. I mean, the number of resources that Scan has been able to get from this bottom left-hand corner that was Shuttles is concerning for shuttle fans. Protoss fans cannot feel good about that. Zealots going on an SCV raid get completely wiped out. Right side base here. Shuttle taking it. This is the final base to be taken today. Every other base has been taken at some point. Probes are mining from a base where its command center is. That's how nutso this game is right now. PBT, man. What a matchup. That's a lot of tanks, though, all of a sudden. Bottom right base may be in a bit of trouble, and I really think they are. Where's the yellow? Here's some yellow. Uh, I don't know if it's enough yellow, necessarily. Like we gotta back up, back up, can't engage, can't engage, engage! Zealot's going for it, man. Defensive Matrix is up. I don't think there's enough Protoss to stop this. 
It's looking bad. He's trying to storm as well as he can. Storm is not a bad answer to mech Protoss players. If Shuttle does it, you can too. But it's 145 to 130 total supply. It looks like the Terran is able to set up. The constant storming, though, is definitely something. Zealot's trying to... No, Zealot's backing out. Getting cold feet. Can't do it. Can't save the cybernetic score. Not going to happen. Do we have another one up here? Not really. Do we have one down here? I'm not sure that it matters. There's one down there. But who does mine this out? Are we going to mine out this entire map today? Are we working on it? I think we're working on it. Just look at the white. Look at how much white is on the map compared to the yellow, though. Scan is not maxed out, but he's got more supply than Tuttle does. Yeah, he's abandoned it entirely. That's it. We're done. Maybe evacuate some of these souls from this bottom right, but Scan's giant mech march of doom has claimed another victim. Another, like, three victims. If you count all three of these bases in the bottom right-hand corner. And Shuttle's just basically picked up a nomadic lifestyle. He's like, well, I've been driven from my home again for the second time in 30 minutes. Set up in the top right and try to make the best of it. Like, as somebody who really enjoys stability in my life, <laughs> moving a lot is rough. I mean, I don't know. I guess from the ages of like 22 to 32, I think I moved 15 times. It was a lot of moving. A lot of that was college. A lot of that was different jobs and buying a house and then buying another house and I've been in this home for five or six years now and it's been nice. It's just the con continuity is something I really appreciate. So here's the thing. This is a dead base, shuttle. You can't you kill this. It doesn't matter. There's residual gas there, but it doesn't matter. Nice EMP, man. Scan's EMPs today have really been something else. Yeah, I gotta say, coming into this game, if you had asked me who I think was gonna win, I would have not have said Scan. But I re I was gonna say, I really think he's got it, but it's 154 to 119 supply all of a sudden. What is? I guess a lot of that is probes for shuttle. Scan does not have a lot of SCVs remaining. <laughs> Somehow, some way. Storm, storm, zealot, zealot, storm, storm. How many storms do we have? Uh, maybe enough? He's storm dodging with siege tanks, which is fun. Oh, can't even Archon anymore. He's just not even, he's not even running. His best friend is dead. He couldn't merge with him. There was no merging is complete. Okay, this game, I don't even... Where are we even right now? Shuttle has 70 probes, but only has, like, three bases to mine from. Also, this top right is in extreme jeopardy from plus three siege tanks at the moment. I like how there's a marine down here. <laughs> Which, he did not get credit for killing that zealot. This Archon just taking tank fire after tank fire. Run! Did not run. He dead. Bottom right base, it doesn't... What is it? It's production at this point. It's not income. It doesn't matter. This is it, man. This is it. Can the forces of Protoss hold against the encroaching armies of evil? Okay, Terran's not evil. Anyways, this UED white... Yeah, he does. He breaks these tanks out. Tanks gone. Dude. Dude. Is Shuttle winning this game? Look at this income that Scan has. Mind out, 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 mind out. This is honestly, honestly. I don't know if I've ever seen Circuit Breakers mind out before. I don't know that we're gonna get there today. Like this is long distance mining, it takes a while. Look at Shuttle just 
consistently using storms in an excellent high level. Just having enough to jump on top of these guys. Dude, the tanks are gone. Science Vessel gone. Goliath gone. Vulture's trying to engage here. This is Scan's one remaining source of income, basically. It's the only healthy base that he has. Tank sitting back here and firing on siege or on these dragoons is pretty amazing. Dragoons from the high ground killing siege tanks. Look at that action. Engineering Bay gonna die, storming the SCVs. Dude, scans down to 17 workers. How did that happen? It's just been a lot of little attacks. Yeah, this is why vultures are good against Archons because they do a lot of damage versus shields and Archons are 99.9% .9 shields. As we all know, okay, this scans at 63 total supply. Shuttle's at 42 probes remaining. Remember when it was at 70 a second ago? I sure remember that. So <laughs> this game is getting an epic tag. I don't care who wins. This game is getting an epic tag. It has been an insanely good PVT for your Doomsday. Are you psyched, Fifi? All right, million siege tanks. Got to protect this one source of income, but it's kind of hard to protect against storm drops. Super well, actually. Ooh, High Templar down, though. No one has a bank. Scan's got 3,000 gas in his bank, but that is not going to help all that much when he only has 100 minerals. Somehow it's turned into an Archon Dragoon army out of shuttle. He's up 114 to 61 supply. Somehow, Scan, after chasing Shuttle out of the bottom left and the bottom right and come all the way up here to the top right to murder him. Well, this Nexus is dead. That happened at some point. I don't know, man. I'm tired. After chasing him around, he's the one who is backed into a corner here. He's the one who needs this income to survive and win this game. Not Shuttle. I mean, okay, Shuttle, yes. Shuttle needs to keep this. They're both backed into corners right next to each other. What a weird situation this is. Zealot bombing. Zealot bombing takes down a tank. It's 108 to 57 total supply in favor of Shuttle. Oh, Shuttle taken. Oh, 3 o'clock again. Oh my gosh, Shuttle! Is he gonna retake this? I bet he can. Dude, I think Shuttle might have this. I think Shuttle might have this game. You're at 42 minutes. Bring in some factories over to get high ground division so storm drops can't happen anymore. It's 19 SCVs for scan. Again, the trick here for Archons is they don't trigger spider mines, which is cool. They don't take bonus damage, I guess, from the vultures they do, but not from tanks. EMP is their big problem, and there's a science vessel around with full uh, full energy, 200. Oh my gosh, the storm drops! That's exactly that's exactly what Scan has been trying to prevent here today. Are these storm drops? Is Shuttle going for it. Shuttle's kind of poking, prodding. If he overextends and loses everything, he's in a big amount of trouble. But I don't know. I don't know if he. This is intense. This is... Mm. We are camping, everyone. This is intense. Dad Joke brought to you by Somicron, the Australian co-caster of the Falcon Paladin Hour. Weekly podcast with myself and him. We just talk about, you know, StarCraft and TV shows and movies and anime and stuff that we're into. Video games. Had a couple big rants on Cyberpunk recently. Bottom right is not dead, but only because it provides just not much value for Shuttle at this point. He's got enough gateways to produce off of the one base, I guess the two bases that he's on. It's 
Scan repositioning, but I mean, it's 142 to 73 supply. What an absolutely incredible reversal this has been out of shuttle. This is what I talked about. Okay, you're just going to make a million good trades over and over and over and over again. You're just going to have more income than your opponent and hope it's enough to make the trades that you need to make to win this game. Although, Scan has done a good job just kind of building on the remnants of Shuttle's dead bases, so... Maybe that's not all that's going on here. The math equation might be a little bit different. How much damage goes off that gateway with one tank shot? Look at it. That's crazy pants. Really wants that Shuttle, but he's also taking so many storms as a result. Yeah, man, if Shuttle can have this, and this, and this, Scan is a dead man. Oh, but new tanks are arriving. 14 Zealots in production, though, and sharking around down here to the south is Shuttle. He's like, yes, go in there. Go in there, and when you unsiege, I'll hit you from your back. Oh, Shuttle down, that sucks. Okay, keeping this tank alive. Yep, this is crazy. Oh my gosh, 46 minutes. I'm going to collapse over here, but we got this thing. We believe. Starcraft, give me strength. Okay, Nexus finishes and dies. Wait, hold on. Remember all those zealots we talked about just a second ago? Here are all of these zealots. And then the backside attack, too. Coming in with the Dragoons, with the Archons. Zealots trying to make it happen. The right side does get defended. My Templar wiped out, but enough army from the south is it true? Can Shuttle do this? Yes! Reinforcing Zealot scans down to 16 workers, 50 total supply. That's your GG. These three, he kept this Nexus alive. He's got three sources of income with his 40 probes. Scan has one source of income, which is under direct and very imminent threat. That command center is dead. That is your GG and... Shuttle. The absolute boss that he is. He did it. I know that Scan is still fighting here. I understand this. That's because Scan is a true warrior and competitor. And he's not going to tap out. If he has strength left in his bones. But uh, it's not looking good. We're actually pinning. Oh. Okay, that was scary for a second. And that's your GG! Scan! Taps out and Shuttle is your winner in an epic 47-minute PVT on Circuit Breakers. <laughs> All right. Well done, Shuttle. Dude, again, Shuttle. He lost how many bases today? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if you count bases that were killed twice, it's probably 11 or 12 or 13 bases killed. And he wins the game. Scan was even taking resources from bases that he abandoned, and Scan couldn't keep up economically. He couldn't make the trade. Shuttle with his storms, shuttle with his zealot attacks, with his zealot bombs, with his dragoon pressure, recognizing when he could attack with his dragoons without losing all of them. But whittling that tank count down over and over and over again. I bet both these players took a break after this game. I cannot imagine they just moved on into the next match and were like, all right, that was fine. <laughs> that was epic. It was epic. What a match. I Hit that like button. Just do it for the algorithm. Do it for Falcon. I don't know if I can find better games than this one to show you guys. I'm not kidding. Wow. All right. Uh, 435,000 points for Shuttle today. 432,000 points for Scan. The, they killed the same number of units virtually. Virtually the exact same number of units. But look at the produced here. Outproduced... The Terran outproduced the Protoss. But again, Vultures are cheap. Shuttle lost 111 buildings today. This is the raised 
ratio, 16 Terran buildings died and 111 Protoss units died and Protoss won. That's how bonkers this game is. But this is what we're talking about right here. Right here. 24, 26,000 more minerals mined and outspent the Terran by 127, or sorry, just 27,000 resources. That's it. That is what it came down to. And just being able to hold on to that top right base, reestablish the third base positioning was so important here too, but this is the deal. <sighs> oh my gosh. Uh, all right. I don't even know what else to say, so that's going to be it from me today. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Re mastered go ahead hit that like button hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today you can also catch me on twitter facebook patreon and twitch all at slash falcon paladin and until next time as always thank you so much for watching you take care of yourself